15 August 2023, Tuesday. Now, this is going to be a short video because I'm actually doing this in a car. But to me itself, this is so important because I feel that there could be some selling coming in in the market. Because both George Soros and Michael Burry, they filed at 13F and it shows that they have basically sold some position alongside and take a pretty heavy sell position on the market. They, they bought a lot of these uh, put options, which is definitely itself kind of highly leveraged here. And I think is this, they are just, just early, but they are definitely not late. All right, so stay tuned on this video. Let's go. Okay, so disclaimer apply as usual. And thank you, Ames, for the kind sponsorship. Now, the thing is this, who is George Soros, right? Now, this guy is a Jewish and he's not American. Now, he has made his money, right, through trading, speculation, lots of very, very incredible big games he went for. All right, the thing is this, he is born on a very interesting day. Look at it. Mm, interesting, okay. Now, the thing is this, being a Leo Rizal, right, he's definitely well, he one of the leader and he's known to be a troublemaker or a rescuer because he did use his money to do a lot of good stuff. But undeniable, back in 1992, he created Havoc when he basically shot at $10 billion and profited $2 billion. Now, that's a lot of money back in 1992. And he basically made the 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 England Chancellor really, really at his neck, all right? And the thing is this, after that, he's good profit, he went to attack the Southeast Asia, right? So we have the Asia financial crisis. And of course, back then, ex uh, prime Minister Mahathir Mahati really, really hit him. But of course, after many, many years, they buried a the hatchet. And recently, they have filed, they have been, been pictured together and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, enemies finally just resting in. But of course, does he make money every time? Not really. Well, he tried to attack Hong Kong, which he was profitable at the start. But as I said, towards the end itself, right, all the billionaires, all the big bosses, governments came in to really salvage the situation and turn it around and send George Soros packing. So, of course, he's not a G.O.D., right? So, he will have losses. But the thing is this, look at his falling right now, a $6.4 billion fund. Look at it. QQQ, wow, okay, increment of QQQ put. And SPY put, all right, also increased. So, basically, is it hedging to their current long position? It is possible. But we all know that George Soros is out, right? When he do such a trade in the market, the current situation right now, we have to be very careful. Now, Soros himself is actually a pro-Democrat. In fact, he's bonded about $170 million during the 2022 midterm. And if by the thing of this right now, Biden needs the stock market to go up because he needs to make sure people are happy. And with the current rating of his right now is below 50, I, I don't think that he wants this. But then again, for Soros to put in so much money now, to short the market, don't you think there's something wrong itself? Is it really for just hedging purposes or because he knows something that we don't know? Or actually, we've been, we've been covering this long enough. There is actually a potential selling I in mean, the market. So Soros himself is a strong supporter of Biden. But for him to do all this right now, I really, really think that one should be very careful. Because look at S&P right now. Now, from S&P, since May, from 4,100, it went all the way up to 4,400. So even let's say they are selling or buying a put option was the last day of June, all right, still the market still went up to about 4,700, right? So the thing is, 4,600, yeah? So the thing is this, now there's some selling. Is it now the effects starting to come in right now? That means that they were early, but they are not late. And one thing to note, now in TWB, this is called BNB reversal. You have second one over here, a third one right here. Now, this is not a good sign because whenever you see something like this, it's all right. we all know as a trader that things may get really out of hand. And of course, if this continue, well, it is very possible that the market will come down all the way. So I believe that we're going to see 4,400 coming in. And of course, things get a little bit crazier. We can even see 4,300. So traders, you need to be very, very careful. Now, that's not only Soros doing that. Apparently, Scion Asset Management, which is run by Michael Burry, is also putting a very hefty position. Now, this fund is about $240 million, but their recent filing of 13F include a $1.7 billion bet in the market. Wow, this is incredible. So you can see right now the SPY put, they've increased by 51%. That's a lot. That means that they put in 51% additionally into the market. And of course, they also buy the QQQ put, all right? So what is going on? Now, Michael Burry exited his Alibaba and his Jingdong.com shares, okay? And stakes in portfolio have been overhauled, all right? We can see right now, right? 
who is our Michael Burry first. Now, he is the guy who rose to prominence after his monster bet against the mid-2000 housing bubble, right? Which you know that he'd been immortalized to become the book and movie for Big Shot, right? So the thing is this, for him himself, he was wrong also back then when he said that the market is meant to sell. Then in March, he came in. It's wrong to sell in March. And if you look at it itself, it was quite nice. He called for sell. The market came out a little bit. But in March, the market actually went all the way up itself. And he basically took the 100 pie. So let's put it this way. Both Michael Burry and Josh Soros, they're not like G-O-D. They can't be perfect. But of course, now, if they put a, such a big position, look at it. The company has put in a put option of a value of $739 million against the Invesco QQQ Trust ETF. And a separate option, basically, there is a $886 million bet against the SPDR, the S&P 500 ETF. So if you look at it right now, they, or I will say that both of them, seems confident that there will be some profit taking coming in. And based on the chart right now, you can see that the Dow Jones have been trying to stay above the MA30 for quite a few days. And that's why it couldn't go down. But as I'm doing my recording right now, it's just broken below 35,150. And there is a very good chance that if this continue, we can see coming down all the way to 34,000. All right, and 600 level. So where are we right now, guys? We are now trading at about 35,156. So another 700 points drop, which is very, very possible. So what do you think? Do you think this is coming in? Because I feel that way. And of course, if you guys also do that, then probably it's time to take our position in the market and try to make some money. Because I believe that from now today, which is like the um, 14, 15 of August, there should be some selling all the way to this week and probably early next week. All right, that's my personal view here as well. As long as the market stays below MA30, yeah? if the market goes back above MA30, then exercise cut. All right. So I hope you like this video. Do like and subscribe and share this with a friend. This is going to be a very important video. Let them know that you have something good here. Right, guys? This is Kyle signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.